What's up, y'all? It's your boy Excite, and today we are playing some Doki Doki Literature Club. I've seen quite a few YouTubers play this, such as Corey X Kenshin, Jay from the Cub Scout. Though I watched a couple of episodes from uh, Jay from the Cub Scouts, but in this game, we have to do a lot of fucking reading. Ain't you no know, with me stuttering and shit. Even though I'm reading the sentence, I'm going to be stuttering like a motherfucker, but please bear with me. But we have these four girls we have to try and impress to uh, fuck. I don't know. Just bear with me. All right, we're going to get right into it. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obvious to any attention she might draw to herself. I told you, I better be able to stutter it. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other. For so long. <laughs> Hold on, let me adjust my mic. All right. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep some more and frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. I mean, waiting up. Well, if she's going to chase me after. Well, be bear with me. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off than running away. Fuck. Why did I put that in there? Oh. However, I just say I idled myself in front of Crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Shit. Ha ha. I was slept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, yeah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Toby. That's my, uh, that's my name for this one. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I did. I guess you don't have. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become more increasingly speckled with other students making their daily co commute. By the way, Toby. Have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm making, I'm not, I mean, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I have been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would, you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayuri likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Bruh. We. Somebody must have fucking reached into my mind because I do the same exact thing. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried about. I'm just, I was just. Oh shit. I was talking about how worried I that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. 
Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I let myself in myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she exaggerates everything inside of her head. The day school is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sorry, wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into classroom while spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori? Yeah. There is no way I'm coming to your club. I'm going to your club. I'm sorry. <laughs> eee? Meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature, literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in the literature. Just like my fucking stuttering. In fact, I'm nine. I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed to the club, she inherited the vice president. The title vice president. Fuck. It's not that I can't read, it's just, you know, I ain't gonna say too much. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why did you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. Why would you do that? That's just such a dick move. Don't make promises you can't keep. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I just said that. Man. I can't tell if Sari is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Now, uh, you know what? I would try it out for, for the homie. No, he said Sayori has been a friend of his since he was a child or something like that. So, yeah, I would have done it. I'm not that much of a dick. Okay, I dejectedly felt. Excuse me. I dejectedly felt. I dejectedly, dejectedly followed Sayori across the school upstairs at a section of the school and I rarely vis visit. Being generally used for third year class classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings, opens the door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the classroom. Girl one, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always has, I mean, Sayori says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, tell me, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, well, welcome to the club. Huh? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I could agree more. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry? Natsuki? Hmm? 
The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to Sayori. You can't just ignore her when she gets moody. I mean, you can ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear that she turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this this is Naisuke, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears to comp Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that all right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Toby. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me generally feels a little... You too, Monica. Come sit down, Toby. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray around and Yuri opens a closet. Still awaken, I mean, I said awaken. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foil off the tray left. I mean, to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like a little cats. Ah, oh, shit. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehehe. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. So you're... Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and Ari managed to get icing on her face. I turn on the cupcakes. Or, uh, I mean, turn on cupcakes. What the fuck? I turn the cupcakes around my finger. I mean, I turn the cupcake around in my finger looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it to herself. I mean, herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard of this somewhere before. Made them for you or anything. Eh. I thought you technically did, Sayuri said. Well, maybe, but not for you. You know, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki weird logic and dismiss of the... I, mean, I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a table set. I mean, a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a cup, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Hehe. <laughs> Don't let yourself get in intimidated. Yuri's trying to impress you. Eh, that's not. It's salted. Yuri looks away. 
I meant, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pace time for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I mean, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature, cl literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me that something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. I was just thinking that. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri really happy here. And Sayuri seemed really happy here, so that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you find you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Aha! Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the events. I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And it encourages to and if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream, fulfilling it. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri is also not in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put that put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes more it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm important that we can all really grow this literature club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all delighted by the idea of the new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Toby, what kind of things you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pick perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that's that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite are... My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fancy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling me a good story in such a foreign world is equ equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that her where her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, the people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse at me, immerse me as well. Is it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you in for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. 
Ah, I read a horror book once. I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, this Yuri might be as well as having a conversation with the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing you the way the world changes you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just Natsuki eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's all right. You usually like to write about cute things you don't. Not, I mean, that's right. Usually write things about cute things. You usually like to write about cute things. I'm sorry. Don't you, Natsuki? What? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a piece of poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. And give that back. Fine, fine. Hey, your cupcakes. Hey, your cupcakes, your poem. Everything you do just as cute as you. So Eri sidles, sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hand on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you wrote that, you write, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm saying guys, please bear with me. It's not that I can't read, it's just my stuttering gets in the fucking way. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki avert her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can excel an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable e enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for you, Yuri. I mean, shit. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in the silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea for everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh-huh. Uh oh. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other at the strength on, and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Toby? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Yeah, what's that? Now that, now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with that with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club, so Yuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm? Toby, you all, 
I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? If that is, if writing the, po I mean, let me start over. That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, right? Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sayori so wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Uh, <laughs> you know what? I understand Natsuki for that. Then it makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Toby, I look forward to seeing your... Toby, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. He, <laughs> Yeah... Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Toby, since we're already here, do you want to walk home with me? I mean, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after club school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four of us. I mean, the four girls: Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really ha be happy spending every day? After school in a literature club, perhaps I have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right, I'll just need to make more, most of my circumstances, and I'm sure the good fortune will come find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen whoever likes your poem the most. Okay, we have flee, despise, hope, question, sadness, captive, friends, flower, mouse, hurt. Who? Okay. Okay, uh. Hope. Uh, imagination. Uh, misfortune. Uh, I want to end up with her. I want to see how I'm going to do it. Horror. Uh, contamination. Oh, she! I see she likes it more. Uh, Starscape? No. What's another depressing word? Unstable. Uh, doki doki. Fear. Suicide. Okay, she likes all the. Depressive stuff. I guess she likes all the happy stuff. And I guess she likes also depressive and happy stuff. So I don't know which one I'm gonna end up with. Uh childhood. Pink. Uh okay. 
uh, vivid memories. Uh, defeat. Anger. Wait. Broken. Uh, crimson. Dream. Feather. Strawberry. Uh, sweet. So, who will I end up with? Hi again, Toby. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for coming. I mean, thanks for keeping your promise, Toby. I hope this isn't too overwhelming for a, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into a literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here just to hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Bruh. You better take her ass seriously. She gonna turn into that Psycho no Sukatoka girl. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Damn. Try to burn her. Mm -hmm -hmm. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops into a back in her seat. Don't worry, guys. Toby get, always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps himself with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Getting a drink of water. Damn, someone. Wait, who almost set the house on fire? <laughs> I just forgot that fast. Is that so? Hee <laughs> hee. You really, you two are really good friends, aren't you? You know, Yuri, we can be good friends, more than good friends, you know. I might be a little jealous. How come you and Toby become you and Toby became can become good friends too? Uh um Sayori. Hmm. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh oh. Oh oh, Yuri even brought you and brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori. Eh? Me? No, um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayuri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry. Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture for you is a nice, I mean, is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want me to, want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to f feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read 
so it will keep your attention even if you don't usually read and we could you know fuck discuss it if you want it this is how is it this girl accidentally being so cute she even picked out a book she thinks i'll like despite me not reading much yuri thank you i'll definitely read this i enthusiastically take the book phew well th you can't read it at your I mean, shit. well you can't read it at your own pace but not excite i look forward to hearing what you think now that everyone's settled in i expect monica to kick some kick off some scheduled activities for the club but that doesn't mean that doesn't seem to be the case so yuri and monica are having ch a cheery conversation in a corner yuri's face is already buried in the book i can't help but notice her ex i mean i can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance meanwhile natsuki is rummaging around in the closet man it looks like nobody wants to be bothered today. I slumped down to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening to on, in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Well, we're probably going I mean, we're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs. Oh, so, I feel you. Do you, man? That's my my advice on that is do you. I don't like I said, I don't care what anybody thinks of me playing this game. But I honestly don't like oh, excited. you watch anime. Oh, you. You're lame. Like, I don't give a fuck. Let me be lame. At least I'm doing what I like doing. Damn. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all is but it's not like that at all, you know. But we just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm? That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we don't come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayuri is taking this really seriously. It's so rare to hear her delivering like this. Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think the food uh, do you think food will do the trick? Hell yeah, it'll do the trick. No everybody just shows up to a party and shit for food. Shit, that's like Thanksgiving and Christmas. They only come for the food. They don't give a fuck about you. Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri stays. I mean, Sayuri is her. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. 
unlike me who has a trouble finding any motivation at all Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things I can't help but wonder what it would be like seeing the world through her eyes what the fuck get out my face I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision Girl, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, <laughs> go get the shit RKO'd out of you. I nearly fell out of my chair. I mean, I nearly fall out of my chair. Eh, sorry. Eh. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. Man, the man's trying to get him a good Z's in, bro. Hey, you come over there. Let me let me put my face in your face. Yeah, that's fucking great. Then blame you if I fall out my chair. Yeah, that's the fucking logic in that. This isn't the napping club. Well, damn, I'm working all day hard. I've been working hard all day in class, and I can't just get a quick Z in the after school club or anything like that. Does our school always have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Yeah, I've been sitting on that, uh, that hub. Now that you're in the club, you're, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. You'll get used to it. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see Monica overhead. Is it true, though? Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. Eehe. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? E? Eh? Not, not every day. That's not conv very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... Uh, it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori. It's all written, it's written all over you. E? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah. I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need to brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look at your bow. Is he even... T is he... Uh, Look at your bow. It's look, your bow isn't even straight either, dumbass. And there is a tooth. Damn, there is a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain off. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger, but but nobody would even ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. Don't you even keep your blazer it's buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why don't you have a... Oh. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh eh? my god! Eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Whoa. Whoa. Uh... Looks like you're doing a little bit more than just fixing her shit. 
<laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? A boy that is your friend doing that. Dude, don't say that. You have you make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Ah, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. This, why is this so hard? Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Bro, I think she's doing that shit on purpose. Somebody could do that. Too. I think she's doing that shit on purpose, bro. She wants a man. That's why she's doing this shit. She's trying to get somebody thirsty. Does this even f fit in you properly? I'm telling you, bro. She's doing this shit on purpose. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> I did what I bought it. Sigh. If you button it, you would have noticed it sooner than it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Oh, shit. This girl is... <laughs> Bruh, this girl... Wow. That's some crazy ass shit. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now, so. Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button up like this? But it's so stuffy. Ugh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Bro, I'm telling you, she's doing this on purpose. She's doing this on purpose. She's trying to get you to do, uh, you know. Sayori puts her arms around, or puts her arms out and... So Yuri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, all right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it a button. What the fuck? Bruh, I'm telling you. Stop saying these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyways, I'm just focusing. I mean, well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better. better I, mean, I guess we are really better take it at fuck. I guess we are really better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you could you should come back and wake me up. <laughs> so maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing great again. I mean, you're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Hey, Monica Sally calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay. Toby, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to, su I failed to sound enthusiastic. But Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. 
I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done one of these before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn up from a spiral. Sayori is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pr pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I read my poem to first? Eh, Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Toby. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why because I have no idea of what I like either. Ah, uh, geez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe Dave and Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. What a dick. <laughs> I think I understand you better than you. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Toby poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the street. I mean, Sayori hugs the sheet. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It's, it just reminds me of how you're really a part of a club now. Not to mention that the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Toby. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people, that's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that. And yay. Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to keep me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy up from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above the school. I mean, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Yeah, that poem. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's not, it's not good, but it's not bad. Okay. Let's give it that. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you want, did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still try my best. Ah, yeah. I did me. <laughs> Sorry. I did mean to say that. It was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It just sounds like you. 
This sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. He, <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica is the best. And yeah, ah uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Okay, I'm going to end the video off here because it's almost an hour long recording this. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to end it off here. If you guys like, leave a like and uh, I'll do another episode of this in a day or two. Just to let my voice clear up because I've done a lot of talking that I usually usually do. And. I like this game. I will do more of it, like I said. But be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.